Well guys, it's true. The blade, she's a going. She's been sold. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> quite a hard decision uh, most of you on our Facebook group uh, are aware of the story going on the last few weeks so basically all I've been doing the last few weeks is searching for VFRs you find one you like you start chasing it you go in with offers you're more or less done and all of a sudden boom the boat's gone so you then following the next one um, but I managed to find one a silver one a 2008 VFR 800 with four Honda luggage so that's my baby and I'm going to pick it up on Saturday so why am I getting rid of the blade I'm mean, gonna absolutely love this bike this was one of my uh, childhood dreams to have one of these and brilliant bike it never let me down 1995 so she's 25 years old 53,000 miles on the clock but when I bought this bike I didn't have the intention of doing what we're doing now which is more touring longer touring uh, I bought this bike before we even started motor Rev, so now things have changed I'm doing longer distance this just ain't the bike to be doing distance on main problem being with it is I mean it's quite an aggressive position on these old blades um, a lot of the new sports bikes the bars are a little bit higher but on this one your legs are quite quite crunched up and the bars the bars are quite low so long distance having to hold my head back with my helmet on I'm basically making myself into an S shape, so it's um, it's causing me problems. So it was a long, long, hard decision. I kept looking at a VFR, then I'd see pictures of the blade. I think, no, I can't do it. I'm keeping the keeping the blade, keeping the blade. The more and more I watched, the more reviews I read, the more people I spoke to. Everybody who had a VFR was saying, I had this, I had that. I've changed to a VFR. It's the best thing ever. And. I suppose the main thing, the main person to blame is going to be Richie Vida. You, my mate. I think you're to blame. Um, I'm assuming I know you love your VFR and you're very proud of it. Um, and although you're saying that, I, I know we all say that about our own bikes because we're biased to our bike, but I, I tried to put aside what you felt about your bike and I just watched what you did with it. I'm thinking the two when you've done, you know, you've gone across America on that. 
to myself, if you can do that on a bike, then that bike's got to be pretty decent. And I love sports bikes, love the style. Not much into adventure bikes. Um, and plus, the access where I have to bring my bike round the back to get it in here, it's literally, I've got about that much, about an inch and a half each side of the bars. So anything else with bigger bars, I can't get the bike around the back. So I've got to go for a sports tourer. And lucky enough, the VFR is, I think it's five centimetres wider. So two and a half centimetres inside, so I can get the VFR around the back. So that bike was meant to be. And another one who's joined us, Stuart Thorpe, AKA Crazy Bear. He's got a 2007 VFR in the, I think it's called Sword Silver. I think the color is. So Richard Vedas is like your star silver, your bright silver. Um, on the later on models, they brought out Sword Silver, which is like, it's like a darker silver. That's the one Crazy Bear's got, Stuart Thorpe, and that's the one I've got as well. So we both got the same kind of bike. So what I've just got to do now is I've got to take the bits and pieces off this bike. Um, why, I don't know, but the guy said, I don't want the top box on the fire blade. You can keep that. How could you not want a top box on a fire blade? So now we'll keep that. I'll take the frame off the back. So we customise that. I might be able to sell that. I'm taking off my. And I've only just done this modification. Vimage UV tank bag. I've never even got to use it or try it. So that's coming off. Because I'll still be able to use the connector plate on the VFR. Um, taking my USB charger off. I've got my 12 volt. No, I ain't got my 12 volt socket in the back. I moved it here to the front. Oh, you donkey, Craig. So, we're not having that. Um, let's get the camera on better. Okay. So, we're taking off. Move the phone. We're taking off ultimate add ons. We're taking off. The GV tank wing, we're taking off my USB charger. Um, I'm leaving the gear selector indicator on, that's no good to on the VFR, it's a completely different fitting. Um, I'm just going to check if I've still got the old grips for this, because if I have, these Oxford heated grips are coming off because the VFR hasn't got them on. Um, we're taking this modified frame off, we'll get rid of that. There's nothing underneath there. And I'll just take off my Optimate charger. So really, that's about it. It's been a good, good bike. It's going to be a shame to see her go. She's done me proud. She's what started this channel. So if anybody ever sees this bike out there, Give her a wave. She's not been bad. Not in the tidiest conditions, but that didn't bother me when I had it. So, any air blade, let's get you stripped down and say our farewell. And then tomorrow, we're going to pick up the van and we're going to go up to Doncaster to pick up the VFR. Now, originally the plan was I was going to ride up to Doncaster on this and then ride back on the VFR. But the weekend is looking horrendous for weather up in Doncaster. I think it's looking between 60 and 70 mile an hour wind, so I don't fancy riding back a bike I've not been on before in them kind of winds for 100 miles, so I'm gonna do it in a van. I'm gonna put the blanket in a van and bring the VFR back. So, that's me done here. I'm gonna get a strip down and we'll see you in the morning in the van. Boom.